Alrighty folks, this is Dirk from Airline Gaming, and welcome back to Factorio. In the last episode, we put together Red Science. You might see in the bottom left there, uh, we have had an update as well. This, uh, update, uh, replays get disabled whenever you load a game from like a previous update save. There's just a couple of bug fi fixes, so uh, hopefully it hasn't broken anything, but it seems to be okay so far. I did some minor testing. Um, I had a quick run about the factory to remember where I was, because this is... Uh, I'm starting again a new batch, so to speak. I'm only recording this one episode tonight. It's actually really late. But I fancied a bit of Factorio and try to get this out for you tomorrow. So, yeah, that's uh, that's what I'm doing. But let's get started on the factory. We did some work with the red science. And we have that all coming in nicely. And we need to choose science, actually. Let's get optics. Oh, we just researched optics. That means I can build lights. Sweet. Uh, what do I want to do this episode? Well, I want to get steel research for, this, for a start. I also want to get... Um Oh, circuit mill. <laughs> let's get that. Oh, I also have a radar here that I never placed before, so let's pop that down there. Um, biters are really, really keen on the taste of radars, it seems. They tend to go straight for them, so I will probably use them as little, like, um, attraction nodes for biters. Wow, that was fast. No, we can't do that yet. Uh, let's get military. Where's military? I want armor. Where did I get that already? No, I didn't. There we go. Military is awesome. Uh, let's get some of these guys on the go, and we're out of copper. Nom 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 nom. Give me more copper. Make these guys do some bloody work. I've been sitting there idling for a while. And ooh, it's so quick. Someone did suggest getting the research queue mod, and I feel like that might be a really good idea, actually. Just so that this doesn't keep happening. It's more of an issue at the start of the game, though, because they kind of go away later. Um, and well, because the research is like takes so much longer later in the game, it doesn't matter so much. Now I did say that we don't really need to prioritize stone, but then I forgot about the funky like uh, resource mod that we have, or resource um, recoloring mod that we have. So I would maybe like to get that on the go sometime as well. Uh, what do I need here? I need got enough assemblers. No, I haven't. I need another two assemblers. One, two. Yay, we're out of assemblers. And we're out of iron now as well. Uh, let's get a bit more iron. I also want to get a cog machine set up for personal cogs. Oh, actually, I have an idea. I'll do that whenever I do green science. Hopefully I'll get to it in this episode, but mm, not likely. Oh, God. I'm trying to kill this thing with a pistol. What a pain. Well, it has to go because it's really in the way. I want to put my circuits here. Because I've got a nice big chunk of room for them. It's kind of perfect. Jeez, I might run out of ammo. That's like all of my ammo. Yep, run out of ammo. Build some more. Oh, I can build a machine gun. Let's build that as well. The uh, first shotgun, pretty rubbish. <laughs> um, uh, the, the machine gun, I think, is a lot better at the start. So let's get ourselves some new DACA. It puts it in here automatically, but we do not want the pistol, so it can live in here for now. And we're building some extra ammo. Get rid of that. Uh, our, you can see in the top right here that our pollution is sort of starting to go off the map a little bit. I'm a little concerned about that. Kind of want to do maybe a little bit of exploring so that I can see what's coming. Oh yeah, need that. Need assembling machine twos so that I can build uh, green science. Very, very important. Now, where would we like to do this? Probably somewhere around here. So the secret to green, oh, green circuits is the ratio is two uh, three to two. So these are all going to be copper wire. When I can find copper wire, there you are. Shift right, left, left. Uh, we need circuits in this guy. Now, we want fast inserters, so we're going to have to build a couple of those. And uh, that's that's an awful lot of fast inserters. Um, these guys typically will want to have probably two inserts. Now, at the minute, they're not going to need it because they're only little baby ones. And the, the the small inserters are going to be fast enough, to be honest. But I'm going to just build it for future proofing, and we'll we'll put all of our inserters down right at the start. Uh, we also we're going to need well we don't need all of these. Get rid of them, and we're going to need some belts. Um, whenever I get blue science on the go, we're going to have a, a belt box, so we'll be able to get everything from there. Right. I like to do the outputs for this a little bit different to most people. Um, most people seem to like to put like two belts in the middle, one for one for iron and one for your output. So 
Well, I'm going to be doing that as well, but my actual output inserters, I like to put them either side of it, like here. And then the iron gets underground belted underneath. So we're going to have our iron coming in on this line, and we're going to have it outputting here. Now there is a reason for this, it does make more sense later on though. Um, the reason I do the belts on this side is because I can use two fast, or up to three fast inserters to output. Um, and still have space for inputs on this side. So whenever you've got like really fast assemblers, we are able to do a lot more with them. So we can have full three inputs. Right now, we're only really going to need the one. And the reason you lay them out like this is so that you can get one inserter on each side. And this one in the middle sort of feeds both of these and it helps to pick up the excess. Uh, we don't need all of those. Honestly, we probably don't need that just yet either. So we'll do that. We'll do that. And I'm out of power bowls. So, oh, more research. Uh, let's just get bullets for now, so it leaves me alone for a little bit. We're probably going to need more belts too. Yep. Now we're going to need underground belts. Build a couple of those. What are we short of? Red iron. Never enough iron. Never enough belts. It really do with cogs. What if I just nick them from here? No one will mind, right? Sure. No buffer for these at all. More than fast enough to make uh, cogs for these assemblers, but not really enough to feed me as well. And I am greedy. I like me cogs. Actually, that needs to go there. We need the underground belt here to cover up that little bit of extra. And some people have said um, that, you know, the underground belt can go a whole five blocks. But I don't like doing it in places like this because I like to know where the input and the output is. Yes, it's less efficient. I won't argue that. Uh, you're sort of better off making the absolute most of the blocks that it provides. But at the same time, I like things to look tidy too. So we're going to pull this off here. We'll merge all of these belts back in later on. Where's me thingies? Uh, there we go. That's inputting. That's inputting. Uh, we need outputs. So there's outputs there and there. And that should be more or less it. Uh, we need the iron coming in here as well. We need another splitter. And we are very soon going to have circuit production. And that will be glorious because they're such a pain in the ass to build. And that should be it. The iron's coming in. And soon, the circuits will be coming out. Build a couple of belts while we're not doing anything. Because we always need more belts. Now these are all going to come out on this side of the belt, which is absolutely fine, because soon enough I will be building the exact same thing on the other side here. I do it like this so it's all scalable. We can all send it all the way up this way, and it's, it's lovely. We like to build things scalable. Now, what else do we need? We need... We're, we're going to need... Yeah, let's go for four of these so that we can build the nice new assemblers for the next science. I have a nice big pile coming out here. I, for now, I think I'm actually going to put these into a... Well, these are going to be a main bus because I do want to have these on the main bus. That's really important because circuits are used in so many builds. It's uh, really useful to have loads of them lying about. Need to build a couple of splitters too here just to tidy up my belts. Now, because we're using things on all different sides of belts now, it's probably worthwhile putting in a belt balancer. So I'm going to show you how to build one. Um, basically, the idea of this is to allow a position where you can feed onto both sides of the belt. And if it backs up, then it will feed to the other side of the belt. So as you see here, if this side's backed up, it starts forcing things down this uh, this is a, or a splitter, this uh, path, and it all goes onto the other side. So as long as this side's full, the excess will go to this side, and it always means that it balances out perfectly. It helps with your throughput. Very important in this game to make sure you have good throughput. And I realize that's a really daft place to put our um, circuit line because of the bloody copper lines there, isn't it? 
and that's going to want to be coming this way, so we'll probably want to leave at least two spaces. I realize I haven't left myself an awful lot of room here, but it's actually fine for this, I think. A little bit closer than I expected. That's fine. The reason you want to leave at least two spaces between things on your main boss is... Well, uh, it allows space for uh, underground belts to feed in and out. So, as you see here, I'm going to use underground belts to go onto this. But if I was to put... Right, let's get these filled up. And get another underground belt to demonstrate. And... There we go. I need two of them, actually, don't I? Blast. Yeah, so if I want to get from here to here, and I've rotated one of these belts by accident, um, if I only had one space, I couldn't put a second one here. That would suck. So you leave two spaces so that you can get those underground belts in. Very handy. Now, fill that up again. That's working. Now, we need another splitter here so that whenever this side backs up, it can come... It can push down this line as well. Keeps everything flowing nicely. So I think it is time. We'll just line up on the other side here. Do green science. This is a lot more complicated than red science. Uses inserters and transport belts. So we're going to need to get inserters and transport belts on the go and building. And they require quite considerably more parts. Now, if I remember right, transport belts require cogs and iron, isn't it? Built enough of them. Yeah, that's nice and simple. So we need to get them coming down onto a belt on this side. Um, let me come up from this side. No, wanted to come down, I think, because... Well, it's it's probably easier that way, just, you know? Because um, <laughs> uh, that means I can scale it downwards easier. I think I want to do it that way. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it that way. Just for handiness sake, I guess. Need more stuff. What do we need? Grab some more circuits here while we're at it. They're always useful. That's uh, probably a belt balancer here as well. Hmm. No, there's not a real. There's no point really because there's uh, no room for a buffer. So let's just actually set up a chest with an inserter so I can leave some here for me to grab in the future. And we'll limit that to, like, two stacks. So anytime I want, I can just grab them from that box. That is always nice. And we'll get some fast inserters on here. Ah, we need more fast inserters. So, what do we need for these? Um, probably need just more of these, I guess. You don't need the assembly machines, too, for here. But we do need them for the inserter, because I think it needs three ingredients. Or the inserter. Yeah, and you need um, the second level assembler to do that. I just realized our research has stopped. When did that happen? It normally gives you like a pop-up gets in the way. Well, this will only take a second. Want these have to be made from iron and... Yeah, we need iron and iron for these. So we need a cogger and the cogs I think we need for this as well, don't we? We do. We need iron cogs and the other thing circuits. Uh, how do we want to do this? Oh, boop. Well, uh, shooting speed one. Okay, cool. So, I want the output to be coming in here. And I want cogs to be able to go in well, wherever. Hmm, we could just grab them off here. And then put the iron onto one side of a belt. And then put the cogs onto the other side of a belt. That could work. Alright, let's do something crafty here. This is probably a terrible idea. Oh, no, that can be one further along. Oh, that isn't what I wanted either. Hmm, how am I going to do this? I do need that here because I need the room to do the crafty thing that I want to do. That. So that means that all the iron is only going to go on this side of the belt. And then whenever I output, ugh, I output on this side, I could make cogs here and have a belt populated by two different things. Which is not always the best idea, but in this case it's acceptable because this isn't a high draw area. So these are going to go a long way in making the other important things that we need for this build. 
And we need to get them onto this belt here. So, I guess we put it here. And this can make our belts, I guess. Alright, here. I'm going to put an underground belt here. And here's something I built earlier. reason for this is, rather than putting the cogs directly onto a belt as well, I want to have a buffer for them too. Just have extra ones. Because extra cogs, always useful. Um, any better way I could do this, actually? Nah, that'll work. Need more assembly machines. Uh, always need more, especially in an early game. Ah, uh, need more everything, don't you? So, we'll grab... Hmm. We can make a transport belt here, I guess. Yeah, let's make it here. For, like, shits and giggles. Transport belt, where are you? Go there. And... I want it actually to go into a box too. So, let's get another wooden box. Hello, wooden box. Thank you. And you can store much. Actually, I want more than that. I'm going to make a dedicated belt factory later on. But for now, this will do. Oh, that was a terrible placement. In you go. And it means that I'll be able to grab transport belt now whenever I need it. Yes, that is so good. Why are you not working faster? Ah, oh, because you're faster. Right, that's a problem. Okay. You're going to have to go, my friend. I'm afraid. Um, I can put a buffer chest for these further down, actually. Like, put the, put it on the end of the line, so that whenever, um, rather than feeding into the buffer chest, which is really just for my own personal use, it'll go into a, a box after it's passed all of the things that it needs to be, you know, passed from. Now, these have to go onto a belt, actually. And I want them to go onto this thing here somewhere. So... We're going to use another inserter here. I'm going to use these underground belts to get to the other side. The... What? How did I manage that? Did it backwards. There we go. Now we have transport belts. Awesome. And we need more inserters. As always. And we want to be able to get... What was the other thing we need? Oh, we need circuits down here too, don't we? Let's split off a circuit line. We should be able to get it down here. And just do it this way. Underground belt there. And because... Let's put in some more of our main boss here as well. That's really important. We do have steel now as well. I need to get steel production on the go. That's really important. Because it's used for... Especially in a couple of the earlier things like making armor. Armor is always nice. God, that is really eating our copper production. I guess circuits are kind of copper hungry. Copper coil is kind of expensive. But, uh, oh yeah, because I'm putting them all into a bloody box, that's why. <laughs> no wonder I have none. That'll not be helping it. So if you are doing buffer chests like this, it is highly recommended that you actually use a splitter. You know, like I have here. So that way only at the absolute maximum, half of the stuff from your belts is going to get put into a box. And it means it doesn't completely shut down production. And that would probably be a really good idea for me here, actually. Because that will really help not eat up all of the few circuits that we're building because of our crappy copper production. I think we could actually do with an extra miner or two. Maybe one of them has run out. We only have two miners. Let's add another one, at least. Need more belt as well, as always. Get a growl, hang on. Can we? No, too far away. Let's just build a couple. There we go. We have extra copper. We can add a couple of extra furnaces up top as well whenever we need to. Um, we probably need to, to be fair. That's enough to feed... Hmm. We probably need more iron production now as well soon. Especially now that it's going into... Whenever this kicks up then the iron production is going to be needed as well, so... Yeah. Right, what else do we need? We need one more thing to make this all work. So you can go there. And you will do... the inserters. And I need... 
Another one of these. Yay, more research. Might as well get that. I'll be able to do that by the time I actually get round to it. And we're going to need to lead a, a whole pile of these. What do we need? We need iron. Give me the iron, please. Oh, just noticed we're out of time, but we're really close to setting this all up. So I'm going to finish it off quickly. Eh, just so it's a little bit more even. And they need just inserters now, which I can now make. And I pretty much have everything for them too. I just need to get them onto the belt. Which I'm going to do like that. And I need another one singular inserter to get these in. And I want to have these guys on a buffer as well, but I'll sort that out in maybe the next episode. Actually, you can do that now very easily by doing this. And using one more inserter and popping him on the end here. And now we have green science! Hurrah! This is actually probably the fastest I've ever set this up. I'm being very, very fastidious. So yes, I do hope you enjoyed the episode. Any likes, subs, or comments are really, really awesome. I love hearing from you guys, and I read every single comment. As always, take it handy, and have a bloody good day. <laughs>